Greetings and welcome. I am Catherine of Sky, and I welcome you back to my Let's Play of Factorio. So last time we started setting up module production for a massive amount of level 3 um, speed modules. So I'm going to continue with that in this, uh, in this particular episode. And I just want to make sure it works. So I'm going to use a blueprint from the other modules um, to start out with this blueprint for now. And what we're going to do is just simply change them around a little bit. So this one, instead of making level 1s, it's going to make level 2s. And here we go. And they're going to take from the same belts as before. You're going to need one red, one or five red, five blue. So they'll, they'll come in on those lines. The only thing that is different is we will need them to insert modules from this line. So one cool thing about the way this is set up, and one reason I like this, this uh, setup that I came up with, is this takes from whatever side of the belt, and it's going to be on the far side of the belt because of the way inserters work, um, and then the new inserter here puts them on the near side of the belt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to output to the far side of the belt and have another chest at the bottom taking filtered, um, filtered just for taking the uh, level level twos off this belt. Okay, so let's make a new blueprint for this. There we go. And again with the power poles. So we need, I think we had 16 here, is that right? So put some lights around so we can see where we're going. There we are. You need lights too. Battery production needs lights. Oh, okay, great. And of course, I will connect these. Have a little bit of a break because of the length of this uh, this belt structure here. So let's plonk those down. So that's two, four, six, and eight. There we go. So that's level two's done. Now I'm going to do a very similar thing here. I'll just copy this this setup here with the box, plonk it down over here. I'll take away that one uh, piece of belt because I don't need it, just to save a little bit of space. Where did it go? Box, there you are. And we'll change it a little bit. Um, it's not powered at the moment. Let me make a couple of filter inserters because we'll need, uh, well, we don't need to. I think we need only need one, but that'll work. So this one, Instead of level one speed modules, we're going to have level two speed modules. And it's going to take out only the level twos. Um, and I think we can have the same conditions. We'll just have a slight buffer there. We aren't going to use a lot of level two speed modules. Mostly speed is going to be level three all the way. So the other reason that I'm limiting them is because of just production of red circuits. As you can see, we don't have a lot of those. And once we reach the limit on this box, then it's going to let the red circuits go down to this line of production. All right, so he's gonna uptake. This one has already yep, plenty of speed modules. So like before, we're gonna use the previous setup to build the next one. So instead of level twos, these are going to be level threes. Oops. There we go. Level threes. And boom. All right. And also I need to change this one to be level twos coming out. If it's greater than 25, they go out. Just in case we might need them. Um, let's add a couple of power poles there. And I don't know. I think the others are okay. Yeah, these are okay because we had one extra space in this area. So now we just need four of these things building this. So I'll copy again this structure. Um, that looks right, there we go. And just put a couple of power poles. So level three speed modules actually do need one more ingredient, which is alien artifacts. And I think what I'm going to do with that is have them take that off, have them be delivered 
along uh, a line going this way horizontally and you'll see why in a second so that we can basically deliver to all of the structures that will need them. Um, I might set that up at the very end because the other lines are not going to be quite as extensive. For example, the, the productivity modules, um, I don't think I'll set up this big of a line for them, um, but let, we'll just see. Let's see. So now this line, we need the filter inserter to take off level threes only and shove them in a box. And this box will be limited to... I don't know, something like 200. So we want to have speed modules less than 200. And there will be a slight buffer on the belt uh, and that'll be just fine because you can never have too many speed modules. We know this information. Okay, so those are level ones feeding into level twos. Yep, and it's all gonna work out really nicely. So that is how to set up a basic speed module factory. Well, this is not basic. This is this is quite end game. This is, this is a big one. Um, initially, if you're just getting started with Factorio, I would suggest just starting with four level ones, two level twos, and one level three assembler. But this is how to kind of maximize it for endgame. So let's extend some of these belt structures. There we go. Actually, I need to, I think I would like to. What you can do with this is it's pretty cool. You can actually copy and paste this entire structure here, the belt structures to feed into these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the next assembly for, I think I might make speed modules. Why not? Oh, look at our green, our, our red circuits. We're actually limited, not by the products. We're limited by the, the number of assemblers. Okay. That's pretty important to note. So let's, let's fix that. Let's blueprint this area. Okay, and these need to have a... I think... Ah, it's okay. I'll just do them in yellow belts until later. Put those there for now. I'm going to make one temporary blueprint and then re-blueprint this whole area. Because this is actually needs to be slightly different. This needs to be this way, like that, so that these guys go on the opposite side. It hasn't been a problem because we haven't had enough throughput of red circuits. Okay, so blueprint and let's just make sure it's all where we want it. That's right. Good. The only thing we need to change is these two things so that the copper can come flowing through. There we go. And that's just a function of making it for the first time and then changing things slightly when you make it again. Um, one more thing we'll need are power poles right there because these inserters won't be quite covered by this power pole. But otherwise it's going to work very, very nicely. And it'll even put the lights in for us that we had earlier. Let's make sure this is in some kind of construction range. Okay, it is way outside of the, the world here. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is put this RoboPort so that it makes sure these uh, modules are within the RoboPort range, the boxes that hold the modules. And that, there's no box there. Okay, that's fine down a bit further and these boxes are not in range so let's just maximize this area here put that down there and that'll work nice okay. let's make sure these guys are connected up looks like we're just running a little bit short of belts or more likely what's happening is that a lot of the uh, robots are coming from the solar panel area and finally getting here, grabbing the belts, uh, and then are going to put them down. But the thing about Factorio is it doesn't really need to be done emergently. It's okay if it takes a little while to get done because the factory just runs itself and it goes along swimmingly. So, I mean, unless you need bullets right now to kill stuff, you, you really don't have to worry about it. Okay, so 
think I'm going to put down some belts just to make this a little bit even here for now. Oh, whoops, it didn't like that at all. I needed to shift click it because of all of these um, splitters. So, but I might probably didn't need to do that. Let me just take away these belts here. Wrap up all the products on them. Because that's one thing that will definitely slow you down. If you're deconstructing belts, the robots have to take off every single product from the belt before they can remove the belt. Whereas if you pick it up by yourself, you pick it up with the, the product. Or you pick up the belt and the products at this very same time. Okay, so looks like we're also short on blue circuits and that's probably no it is not I thought it was because of red circuits but it's actually because of green circuits why are we short of green circuits because there's no copper we need more copper so we're back to the whole copper issue again but I want to finish setting up the module production just so that we can have um, you know a useful line going on we don't have to set it up later so I'm going to get rid of these trees here because we're going to not need all of them. We're going to need to have them removed. I should say that that way. It's a little bit better. Sounds better. Get rid of this thing. Um, I'm also going to get rid of... Actually, I can put this plunk, this blueprint down again. So we'll have another... Oh, actually, I need to change the blueprint to the updated version. Okay, so the updated version is basically this section here. There we go. Um, it has the undergrounds, the little underground hats like these over here, and it will connect seamlessly and we won't have to add uh, any, any additional... Oh, we will have to ad add the power poles. I forgot about those. There we go. That's better. But we have tons of plastic, tons of green circuits. So that's working really, really well. So I'll copy this and I like to change the symbols on the blueprint so I know what it's for. So I'm just going to make this um, red circuits. So I know this is making red circuits. Because this is one that I'll keep in my uh, blueprint book. I'll shove it in there right now. So it could be right there. And let's get rid of this wood. Go away wood. Okay, so now with this structure, we can actually blueprint this entire thing and move it, uh, well, to put make efficiency modules. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So here goes. And I'm going to blueprint the assemblers first, and then I'm going to blueprint the, uh, the, the supply lines. So I'm going to put... So make four spaces in between for rubber ports or something. One, two, three, four. Shove them down. And afterward, I'm going to change them all to efficiency modules. And what I'll do also in preparation is I'm going to copy these supply lines here. So we need these. We need the blues this whole structure here. We're going to align it so that it lines up with everything there. And that's absolutely perfect. And shove it down. There it goes. So all of this is going to get created very beautifully. And fill in the blanks here. This is also going to be just fill in the blank stuff forgot to get this going just in case we need batteries later so. and I'm not going to actually connect these two lines up until I change up all of these machines to be um, in the efficiency modules right now they're not ready yet so it's, it'll be inefficient to try to construct them all at the same time so you make sure everything's in construction range those things are the belts are, I believe, are they? Maybe? Yes, they are. They're from that robot port. So, cool. This is awesome. 
And it'll it also copy out the lights, which is great. I don't have to replace those. All right, so these still need a couple of belts going on here. We now have a lot more production of red circuits. I feel we're hitting our stride in Factorio. This is, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the game where there's plenty to do, there are things happening, you can build massive structures with blueprints, there are robots helping us construct things. It's so exciting, I like it. Okay, but we need to address this situation with the copper. So I think that's gonna happen very, very shortly. Um, okay, how's this going? We have 200 logistics robots and we have some in the chest as well. Look at that. So basically, my inserter is working properly. Since there are 200 in the network, it is not taking any out and putting them on the belt. Great. Uh, now we're just waiting for construction. But with construction bots, we're wanting a thousand. So that'll take a while. But whenever we want to change this stuff, oh, let me just do this. Efficiency module threes. Yes, please. Whenever we want to change these numbers, all we need to do is click on the inserter, and this is going to indicate how many we want in our network. So that's a really cool change that uh, they made to the game, which is really, really, really nice. I like it. All right, so next thing, kind of waiting for those the robots to finish that area of construction. I wonder if I have enough assemblers. Do I have more assemblers? In fact, I might wire these to have not quite as much um, in terms of supply in this chest. So and I'm going to make this a requester chest. So basically any time, where did it go? Hello requester chest. Oh, it did make one. There it is. Okay. Anytime uh, we have stuff floating in the ground in the network, and I really doubt we have any of them. I think they're all been converted into Assembling Machine 2 structures. Uh, it'll basically request them from the network. But in order to do that, we need to change the, the circuit conditions on these. So if what's in the chest, uh, Assembling Machine 1, is less than, say, 25 then it will pull out from this factory. Um, so it, there was one in the hand, so I had to drop it. And then this one, actually we don't need this one to be wired. Let me take the wire off. Um, no, oh God, okay. I always forget how to do this. It's just easier to, to take the, the assembler off. So this one will, pull out of this machine only when there are less than 25, but we can have the logistics chest uh, request as many as we want. 200s should be enough, but because we're not using the red X to limit it, it can actually put 200 if it finds them somewhere. So that's an important reason for using circuit conditions uh, instead of just making a red X. Um, so I think I'll do the same thing here and limit this to, say, 100. Well, I don't know how many. Let's have some like machines, twos, less than, yeah, let's do 100, just in case we do some big, big structures. Probably the modules are the biggest we're going to do for a while, but eh, make it 50. Just make it 50. Set. Okay. So if it's less than 50, keep pulling them out. And then at some point, if you convert to all assembling machine threes, which is quite expensive to do because they require speed modules, uh, you can actually make this a requester chest as well and have them dump into here uh, and basically recycle all your machines automatically. It's pretty handy. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, looks like green circuits have run out. Yep. I think it is time to solve the copper problem very soon. So let's... Looks like all these machines have been placed down. Let's change them all to efficiency. So you're going to be, oh, I don't have threes yet, but that's okay. We'll do the twos and the others. Threes are still researching. There we go. So 
so this is a really easy way to change over things. Um, make sure you also change the chests and the inserters here. So level 1 speed is going to become level 1 efficiency. Um, except you want to change the numbers on these because level 1 efficiencies are really, really useful. So I want to have these, if they're less than, say, 350, you can pull out. And then this one I want to make at least to have 250 in that box. You need a ton when you're building mining deposits, for example. Level 2s are also equally uh, as interesting. I want to have at least 100 level 2s in there. And change the icon there. This needs to be, change this one to that. And then this one needs to be level 3s also. Now, level 3 efficiency modules are very, very rarely needed in my experience. So I'm just going to have them make 50. Okay. So that will work on that. And I'm going to plonk a chest down very shortly as soon as we get the productivity thing set up so that we can have um, alien artifacts being delivered to these guys. So, but that's all the time we have for now. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Sky. Take care of yourselves and each other. See you next time.